Hey, this is Shelly Owens with Go Be Love, and I'm back with our Mission Accomplished video series. So when I left off last time, we were talking about the harmful effects of this really common practice among American mission teams of carrying stuff over to the mission field and handing it out for free. So since that time, this very topic, in kind of a different context, but this topic has become very timely and has really received a lot of press. Um, that's because um, of the, the heavy impact that Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma have had on the U.S. And there's all these ongoing disaster relief efforts. And there's been a lot of heated discussion about people desiring to donate stuff to the hurricane relief efforts rather than making monetary donations. So there's some really good parallels for the mission field here. And we're going to talk about that today. But first, let me just explain, because some of you might be thinking, well, who cares? As long as you're contributing to the hurricane relief efforts in some way, who cares if you give stuff or you give money? And to that, I'd say if you're donating supplies, you actually may not be contributing at all. You actually might be making the situation worse. So what often happens with disaster relief, and the same thing happens with the mission field, is that people tend to give stuff before they really understand the situation. We often don't understand what's going to be involved logistically in getting the things we're donating to the people who need them. And even more importantly, we often don't understand if the things we're giving are even needed at all. Now, when you talk about this, this idea in the context of the mission field, um, besides the fact that, that people often give and don't understand the situation and understand what's needed, you have the additional complexity of cultural differences. So the reality is that just because something is needed and wanted in the U.S. does not mean it's needed or wanted or is even usable in, let's say, a poor fishing village in Africa. Now, the other thing about giving stuff is this. When we give away stuff, we usually, not always, but usually are giving away stuff that we don't want. Um, we give away stuff that is effectively garbage to us. And here's the thing. Poor people don't want our garbage. People who have just lived through a natural disaster, like a hurricane, also don't want our garbage. So... What I would say is if you really want to give stuff instead of money, and if you want to send stuff to the mission field, what you have to do first is ask really good questions. Get some really good answers. Understand whether or not the stuff you're giving is needed and usable in the place that you're sending it to. Get a really good understanding of the situation and the logistics and especially the needs and when you're talking about the mission field, you need to understand the cultural appropriateness of what you're sending. So those are all things to consider, but I do want to say that there are exceptions to every rule. There's another side to this coin, and often we get requests from ministry partners in the field who say, can you bring this specific item or these specific items to the field? Can you send them with one of your mission teams? We need them and we cannot get them here. A really good example of this would be like medical supplies. So if a ministry partner reaches out to us and specifically needs something, it is our honor and our privilege to send those things to the mission field with one of our teams in that case. The other thing that we love to use our mission trip suitcase space, um, our mission trip participant suitcase space for is to bring things to the field for missionaries and missionary families. Um, we often reach out to missionaries ahead of a trip and say, we're coming to your area. What do you need? What do you want? What things from home would bless you and encourage you? What comforts from home can we bring to you? Do you want some snack items or a new pair of running shoes? Or what can we bring you? That's a great use of a mission trip participant suitcase space. If you're interested in something like this, Go Be Love actually is a program specifically dedicated to serving missionary families in this way. Um, over Christmas, we're going to be sending Christmas gifts to missionary families and children, and you can participate and get your church involved. This program is called Project GPS. If you're interested in that, please email us because we would love to hear from you. Uh, the other thing is this. 
We are hosting a conference called the Go Be Love Conference in April of 2018. It's going to be in Marietta, Georgia, which is a suburb of Atlanta. Registration is ongoing um, on our website right now, and registration is pretty limited. Um, our website is gobeloveinternational.org, and we would love for you to join us for this conference if this video series and the things we're discussing here are of interest to you. We've got some really great speakers lined up, some very engaging breakout topics, and we would love to have you there to join us to discuss and to dive deep into the topic of excellence in short-term missions. So thanks for joining us today, and I'll be back in a couple days to discuss a new topic. Have a great day.